it's Carl King. In this video, I'll show you how I arranged the He-Man and the Masters of the Universe theme for String Quintet. Just a reminder, if you have any questions for me, you can post them as a comment and I'll do my best to answer them. And be sure to subscribe for a steady diet of these videos. This piece was programmed in Cubase and all of the sounds are from VSL's synchronized solo strings. My ensemble has, from left to right in the stereo spectrum, two violins, viola, cello, and contrabass. While we're talking about players, here's something many users don't realize. Synchronized libraries can, of course, be loaded into Mir Pro. That means you can place your synchronized players in a different venue, not just the Synchron Stage Vienna. In this case, I put them in the Sage Gateshead Hall 2, a small 10-sided venue in the United Kingdom. There are just a few things to double check when you use synchronized libraries in Mir Pro. Go to the Mix tab in each instrument and do the following. Number one, disable the reverb. Number two, click this tiny button right here and remove any impulse response that shows up. Number three, check that the panning is all the way wide and centered. If you don't do those steps, you might be using redundant impulse responses, reverbs, and panning. We can just let Mir Pro handle all of those for us. By the way, I set the dry wet level for each instrument around 12 to 13 percent. That's because I love the super dry and scratchy sound. For me, that's what makes a string quartet, or in this case a string quintet, distinct and special. But of course, you should adjust it to your own tastes. Quick note, synchronized solo strings, as opposed to the original VI solo strings, comes with an additional Violin 2 that contrasts very well with Violin 1. But for this project, I used the Violin 1 sounds for both 1 and 2. I wanted more unity in the upper voices, as well as all those extra articulations Violin 1 comes with. However, don't let that stop you from using the new Violin 2. It's got a cool sound that I like a lot, so give it a try yourself to check out the tonal differences. Synchronized solo strings also comes with a second cello, and it too has some tonal differences and some open string options. So get in there and experiment with these. All right, onto the breakdown. First up, let's talk about the articulations. I built my own small selection of articulations here in the Synchron player so it was easier to find only the ones I needed. I pretty much always do this, although sometimes you get the added benefit of intelligent programming if you use the presets. To create your own selection of patches or custom presets, you should first load a corresponding factory preset. In this case, if you wanted to build your own collection of violin articulations, you would start by loading Violin 1 Full Velocity X-Fade Mod, and then right-click and Reset Instrument to remove all the slots. Now you can add them back in in any order you want. If you do this, you'll have all of the mixer presets available, and the Perform tab and Edit settings will make sense. On the other hand, if you simply started with the default preset, no mixer presets would be available, and you'd have a totally blank control tab. So starting with a factory preset and then removing the slots will save you a ton of work and problems. So now let's go through the main groups of these articulations I used. For the short notes, I use three different articulations. A normal staccato. A repetition staccato. and a harsh staccato. It always helps with MIDI music to have a variety so you don't just have a single staccato sound as it can get robotic. Moving on to the long notes, I used three of these as well. Sustained with vibrato, Legato Fast, and Sustained Vibrato Progressive.
with any MIDI library, if you have constant vibrato going on and every note is the same articulation, sometimes it can end up sounding synthetic and mechanical. So that's why I really like sustained vibrato progressive. It starts out with no vibrato at all and slowly builds up. I wanted to keep the vibrato from getting too intense, so on really long notes, I'll actually break it up into a few short notes. That way, that buildup of vibrato starts over. By the way, there's actually another way to control your vibrato in synchronized solo strings with vibrato x-fade. Depending on the situation, this can work well. Notice you'll sort of hear the two different articulations at once when you're in the middle of the crossfade. The vibrato and the non-vibrato sounds are blended together. During a big, thick, wet chord, it would be great. But for this piece, the sound is very raw, dry, and up close. So I just chose to use key switches. For more special articulations, I also used a glissando and a half-step grace note, just to give the melody a little more life. Since the original music only had three sections and they're all rocking and loud, I added a little pizzicato breakdown as a quiet variation. It's like a mini bridge before the final statement and I used plain old pizzicato for this. Although, in this library you also have the choice of snap pizzicato, also known as Bartok pizzicato. That's like a funk bassist popping the string. And there's also pizzicato secco, or maybe pronounced seco, something like that. This is like a version of pizzicato where the player mutes the string after plucking it. If you listen very closely, you can hear it in there. Here's some tips with pizzicato samples. To keep them as a realistic approximation of real string players, don't go crazy with the high velocities. In real situations, pizzicato is a soft sound. And don't expect fast passages out of real players, since they tend to only pluck the strings with one finger. Moving on to the scale runs. All of the scale runs in this He-Man piece were done manually with the Legato Fast Patch. I was impressed with how great they sound. Check this out. However, synchronized solo strings also comes with a bunch of recorded scale runs in major which can then be used to create runs in all of the diatonic modes based on which note you start on. So if you want Dorian or Mixolydian, you've got it. It's also got harmonic minor, chromatic, Whole tone, always my favorite. And all of these scales also come with spiccatos. This library's got a ton of stuff. Tremolos, trills, harmonics, sol tasto ponticellos. Amazing stuff. One awesome patch that stands out to me, which I didn't get to use on this piece, but I need to use it in the future, was the portamento. Check this one out. I have no clue how they did this, but it's the coolest patch in there, in my opinion. And now, here's the whole piece from beginning to end.
And that's it for me. I hope you enjoyed this little walkthrough. I'm looking forward to using the awesome synchronized solo strings on a zillion more projects. I highly recommend it. You can head over to the VSL website to see more videos and demos. And remember, if you have any questions for me, be sure to post them in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer everyone. I'm Carl King and I'll see you next time. By the power of Grayskull. Ah, I probably shouldn't do that.